With the Z Modeler brush selected, hover over an edge and press spacebar to open up the Z Modeler Edge Action menu. Locate the Polygroup action. With the Polygroup action selected, you'll have one target, which is Polyloop, and then two modifiers down below. Returning to your model and simply clicking on an edge will apply a new polygroup to that actual polyloop. Clicking and holding on the edge and then tapping Alt will change the color of the polygroup. Hovering over the edge again and pressing spacebar to go back into the Zmodeler Edge Action menu, you have two modifiers down below. The Overwrite modifier will simply overwrite any polygroup that's actually applied to that actual target. So coming across and applying that polygroup to this area is going to override all the polygrouping across that area and give this polyloop one consistent polygroup. Now if I come across this area here and now select the additive modifier down here, ZBrush is now going to look at this polyloop and anywhere there is a breakup between polygroups, it's going to hold that actual breakup when it applies the new polygroup to it. So coming across this edge here and clicking, you'll notice that this whole loop here has now been giving a new polygroup, but wherever there was a breakup, it gave another polygroup to it. So this will allow you to come through and keep the existing polygroup breakup on those areas of your model, but then add another polygroup breakup on top of it. So using this different option of the polygroup polyloop here, you can come through and start applying different polygrouping to your actual model and you can come through and change this as needed and then use any of the other QMesh type functionalities to further enhance your mesh using targets that use polygrouping.